Where is it? I think this is working now. I can't see anything. Okay. Hi. If you're watching this afterwards, I don't want to be the first couple minutes of this thing to be silent. I'm just sharing the link. So, I know I don't, like, ever go live. <laughs> Truthfully, I have a, a, a lot of YouTube friends in um, different areas of YouTube, and they go live all the time. So, I'm constantly in their chats, modding for them and stuff. Um... And I never go live myself because, um, well, it's not really my content style, I guess, but also because I have kids and <laughs> it's like impossible for me to be able to do a live interaction because they're going to interrupt. Well, today is Thanksgiving and they're going to uh, dinner at their paternal grandparents and I'm getting ready to go to my parents. So... I am at home all alone and I feel like putting on makeup and I just thought let's uh <laughs> let's go live. So yeah. Tweeting out the link. Okay. Oh, there's people in the comments. Hi! Hi! <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I'm gonna keep this relatively short. It doesn't really take me that long to put on makeup. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bored. I don't know what to do with myself when I don't have children tugging at my pants. So, what are y'all up to? Are you celebrating Thanksgiving? Or are you celebrating thanks taking? If you're wondering why I keep like looking down too, um, I can't really see the, the chat on my phone. I'm, I'm live on my phone, but I have my laptop directly in front of me <laughs> with the video up so I can like see if you're talking to me. Putting some of this uh, Clinique Pep Start. Really expensive lotion. Um, oh, you're in Canada. So your, uh, your Thanksgiving was in October. Yes, a day of mourning. See, it, I am going to dinner because my family has always celebrated it, but not in the typical way because I think the majority of America, they celebrate it in a way where it's like, oh, <laughs> thank you, I bought these at a, a powwow in Canada. Um, the cones are from that Bimishimo brand. Um, what were, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, and I think the majority of the way that like Americans celebrate it is like being thankful for things and like celebrating um, a dinner that erupted into sharing the land with all the people. That ain't the way my family celebrate it for obvious reasons, but, um, it's mostly just a day to eat some good ass food. That's what it is. Yeah. Anishinaabe, Bemishimo. Yep. Yeah. So here I have, um, Ashi Beauty. This is a Black and Dene owned, uh, makeup brand and they have a lot of good things. I also have this palette here as well. Um, she sent this to me in the palette. I've never been sent free stuff from a brand before. That was fun. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake to squirt it all in one spot. Yeah, um, the powwow that I got these from, because I live in, um, if you're not familiar with where I'm from, um, I am Anishinaabe, I'm Ojibwe, and I'm from northern Michigan. In fact, I'm uh, right on the border of America and Canada. Um, so 
where I live is uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, which borders Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. And um, they had a powwow there in very, very early March. And that's where I bought these from. And that was the last powwow that I've been to. In, f in fact, um, in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada, AWOL, that's cool. Or AWOL, why did I call you AWOL? Are you AWOL, Adele? Or am I just mixing people up? I might be mixing people up because I'm um, kind of a space case. I don't know if I exhibit that energy properly on social media. I am a space case. You're not AWOL, you're Adele. <laughs> okay, sorry Adele. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in fact, that powwow was like, I believe March 10th was the first day that there was a reported case in Michigan, in Detroit. And so it was like right after that, that the entire country just like blew up and they're like lockdown, uh, everything's canceled. So that was the last weekend because I think March 10th was like a Monday or something. And the weekend right before that was um, the powwow that I went to where I bought these cones. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I don't forever associate Algoma University powwow with Corona. <laughs> Yeah, the whole world. It didn't stop enough, but I actually meant to dance at that powwow too, but I ended up not. Um, and the, the only reason for that was, well, partially laziness, but <laughs> also um, I was still finishing up my new regalia. I had started constructing an entirely new regalia uh, a year before. Um, I'm sure if you've been following me for a while, you know that. Um, and I didn't finish my, my leggings. I was working on a, a pair of fully beaded leggings and I didn't finish them on time. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to dance at another powwow without my leggings being finished. So I didn't dance. And then the whole world stopped and we didn't have no more powwows anymore. So I was pretty bummed. I should have just danced anyway. <laughs> yeah, so sad. Granted, there were a couple of those virtual ones. Um, the Saginaw Chippewa tribe. I'm trying to reach for a concealer if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. I just have so many shades. See, this one's too dark. This one's too light. Where is my sand shade anyway the <laughs> Saginaw Chippewa tribe uh in uh, the lower peninsula of Michigan they have a powwow every year but obviously they couldn't you know have their typical one so they had a virtual one I'm just gonna use the light shade I'm just going to my mom's she don't give a shit and uh they kept it competition because it's typically a competition powwow and uh, I actually registered and competed in it. Uh, so we had to, there were rules that um, I wasn't a huge fan of and I'll get into those. But first of all, I'm not much of a competitor at all. My dance style, I wouldn't say I'm a bad dancer, but I'm not one of those dancers where you're just absolutely blown away. <laughs> so in other words, I'm not a winner. But I just, I needed to participate in a powwow of some sort. So I registered in the Sag Chips competition powwow. And what you had to do was take a video and dance two songs in a row. No water breaks. They specifically said in all caps in the rules, no water breaks. And as somebody with an intense exercise induced asthma, that wasn't cool. <laughs> so um by the time I got to like barely even the middle of the second song I was practically too dead to move and um that was actually I filmed for it twice 
it took me two tries to get this uh, video taken for this virtual powwow because the first time I had forgotten to, for one, I forgot to use my inhaler because again, I have asthma. So I need to use my inhaler before dancing or else I won't be able to breathe when I dance. And for another, it was kind of like a coldish, windy day on the first day, and that's a trigger for my asthma. So I ended up having an asthma attack the first time. Uh, not good when I'm supposed to be a, a healer. Hey! Hey, you! <laughs> my favorite in neck. Yeah, so at least I got to participate in something, though. Um, and the reason there was two songs is because there's like two styles of dance for a Jingle Just Dancer. So the first one was just like a straight style, just like a regular intertribal type song. Um, and you dance to it and they chose a really fast one too. So that means that you have to like dance faster and exert more energy. So <laughs> it was like, Ugh. and then the second one was a sidestep, um, which is like my favorite dance to do as a jingle dress dancer it's so fun and it's like the it's the traditional healing dance too so it's what I typically choose if somebody asks me to dance for them for whatever reason okay I said this would be quick and I'm like taking my sweet time I'm usually way faster and applying my makeup. Oh, I don't know if you were wondering at all. Uh, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind and this was in the color light. I guess it did work for me. Usually I use the color sand, but I can't find it for some reason. Yeah, so now I'm using Maybelline Fit Me in Fair. Reorganize the house and yeah. Yeah, and I have so many like sewing projects and stuff in mind, but those require money. <laughs> um, I did, however, I found, um, I don't know if you've seen my last video where I did a garage sale haul. That was actually uh, like in late October. It was before Halloween anyway, when I went to that garage sale edited and uploaded the video and it just it sat in my uploads until I decided to make it public and I don't know the only reason I did it is because I wanted to put out the Halloween one um the Halloween like makeup and then I wanted to do the drum ones and <laughs> it just sat there so yeah that was a while ago but I think I I said in that video like I found a bolo tie <laughs> and I bought it for a dollar now these people they lived um in the border town to the res so they were like really close to the res but i'm pretty sure they were white i'm pretty sure they weren't native it was like an old couple that the wife passed away and the dad was on the verge of passing away so the kids were selling whatever they didn't want to keep and <laughs> they had that bolo tie so i considered it a rescue <laughs> But I don't want any other non-native jerk coming here and buying this bolo tie. <laughs> so I, th I think where I was going with that story is um, all the projects that I have in mind, I was thinking about sprucing up that bolo tie and giving it to my grandpa. Will he wear it? I don't know. He's one of those Indians that aren't um, very fancy. He's got like a beaded pin and that's it. He don't, he don't go all out. Maybe if I, um, bead like a, a Red Wings logo onto it, Detroit Red Wings. Sorry if you hate them. My grandpa absolutely loves them. He has his entire hallway in his house is just decked out. Like every inch of the wall is covered and just Red Wings flags photos there's shelves with like trophies and bobbleheads and hockey pucks and stuff big time red wings fan 
Oh, thank you for calling me awesome. <laughs> I think I'm a dork. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would consider myself a uh, girly. I like to consider myself, like, androgynous, um, because, <sighs> how do I, how do I say this? It's just some days... I'm not non-binary. I fully identify with um, a, a womanly spirit. So I, I feel I am a woman. I identify as a woman. But at the same time, I some days I feel femme and other days I feel mask. So I just call myself androgynous. <laughs> um, so I guess today I'm feeling a little bit of femme because I'm... I haven't been wearing makeup very much lately at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, back and forth. And I'm super proud of these nails because I grew them out really long. And that one had some makeup on it. And then I shaved them into uh, stilettos. Easily fascinated, I know. <laughs> um, here I have yet another Maybelline uh, Master Chrome in Molten Gold. And I've been asked before too, like what kind of brushes I use. Um, I have some Morphe. I don't support them anymore. <laughs> um, I bought the Morphe brushes like 2017? Yeah, so I still have them. I still use them, but for the most part, I didn't blend my chin all the way. For the most part, I just use whatever I find at the dollar store. I even had um, a mutual on my Twitter. Unfortunately, we're not mutuals anymore, but I had a mutual on my Twitter send me some too, just more drugstore ones. Um, what is next for my face? Eyebrows. I need to reach up for a second. And uh, this is my shirt for today. I totally didn't plan this either. I put it on last night, in fact, just to sleep in. And I'm still like lounging around lazily in my clothes that I slept in. And I just kind of realized like, you're on looted land. Sure, yeah, sure, you can ask a fashion question. So for my eyebrows, I don't um, ever use Sometimes I'll use an eyebrow gel. I want to try the Cheekbone Beauty one. I just haven't bought it yet. Um, here I have like the Benefit Gimme Brow. But I prefer to just take an angled brush in my favorite black eyeshadow and fill in my brows. Because, I mean, they're not too sparse. They're pretty full already. So I just need a little bit of a... If I can find my brush. Hold up. I need to find my brush. She's missing. There she is. It's got a little spoolie on the other end. Can you please show us how you tie shirts or sweaters around your waist style by shirt? Uh, I can try. I have a really poochy belly because <laughs> I carry all of my fat in the front of my belly, which is a sign of... Um, that you're not going to get diabetes, but you can. And diabetes runs in my family. Sorry, I don't know why I turned it that direction, but yeah. Yes, Manny's life's a drag. This, I bought this when it came out. So this physical palette is probably expired. I don't really care. It's still functioning, it's still working, and it's, it's powder, it's not like it's a cream or anything, but I mean, it came out in, I think, was it 2017 or 2018? I don't remember. And I still, like, this is the one that I always reach for. <laughs> Retaining water. I wish that was the case. No, it's more like having kids and then getting an office job and, like, never moving around ever. So, I gained weight. 
that's okay. I'm actually more comfortable in my body now than I ever was when I was really thin. That might be because that was when I was younger and like when you're young, life sucks anyway, so. <laughs> I know, you can't call it a native program without shoehorning a sobriety or diabetes talking. <laughs> It's a fact of our lives now. <laughs> I swear, everybody I know has it. <laughs> I really don't know why I'm trying so hard on this makeup. Because, I mean, obviously we're not um, inviting, like, too many people over. Typically, it was always just... My little family, um, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my one of my uncles. I have, I have, uh, five immediate like first uncles. Um, one passed away though, and then I have like a whole another giant family um, of uncles and aunts that are like my grandpa's generation. Um, but yeah, just a little backstory there. And only one of my uncles comes over for Thanksgiving. So our Thanksgivings were always pretty small anyway. But this time she, uh, didn't invite my uncle. Just, just me. Manny's products are awesome. I don't have very many. I have this palette and I have, uh, one of his lip glosses. And his lip glosses are absolutely amazing. They stay on. Uh, they're pretty and they're really comfortable. They don't feel sticky and they don't um, gather in the butt of your lips. <laughs> and if you have any dry patches on your lips, they don't gather there either. Eight years to build. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have three kids for no reason. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, you must try a Manny gloss. It's up there somewhere. I can't find it. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna dig into this Ashi one. I'm gonna do a real simple thrown together look on my eyes. Um, so let's see, nice fluffy brush. And what do I want? Um, see what I have? I just bought this and I haven't tried it yet. It's um, this pigment by Indi Indigenous Cosmetics. Um, and after the live ends, I can link their Instagram and their website in the description. I have promoted them on my channel before, uh, but I hadn't been able to buy from them yet. And that's partially just because they were still working on their pigments and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they just came out with these pigments. This one, oh, they don't have a name right on it, um, but it's like a reddish one. I can also list which one I had in the description. I really don't remember what the name of it was. But they were doing something so cute on their Instagram. They were inviting people to name the shades and whoever whoever like won the shade naming contest, they would get that pigment sent to them for free. I'm gonna take this like peachy pinky one. <laughs> you too, James. I didn't win any of those and I thought a couple of them were pretty good, but they, they did one shade at a time. They would show a picture of it they would show us a, a small short video of them like taking the pigment and applying it um, on some skin. And then they just invited everybody uh, to try and name it and whoever's, I think at first they were picking the winners and then um, some of the other shades, the or the last shades, they decided Whichever one's got the most likes, those ones would win. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. Like, I hope nobody was giving them shit for not picking them as a winner. 
Yeah, totally cool. I think they had like glosses and lipsticks before they finished the pigments. Um, speaking of which, and it's what I'm going to wear today, they sent me a gloss too. I didn't buy it um, in the shade Merlot. I wonder if they've seen my video because I think I said I wanted this one. I don't remember. They, uh, they sent me this cute card. Wake up, sage up makeup. So cute. I think they sell this on like t-shirts and totes and stuff too. And then they said, Chelsea, thank you for your support. Enjoy the pigment. We added an extra lip gloss. Yeah. So it's like, I wonder if they were doing that for everybody or if they like seen me trying to show them off. Yeah. So pretty. It just, it sucks with the whole masks and pandemic thing. I'm going to take this darker one right here. It sucks with the whole mask and pandemic thing for many, many reasons, but my first world problem here is masks, they cover your face, right? And I think that everybody has their, their main thing that they put on when they don't want to do an entire face, right? So like, if there's one makeup product that you put on when you don't want to do an entire face, but you just want a little something, something, what is it? Like some people it's mascara. Some people just do their brows. Some people just do their eyeliner. For me, that was lipstick, lipstick or a lip gloss. I would just slap on something on my lips and call it good. Now that doesn't work <laughs> because it's covered up by a mask. It's lipsticks for you, too. I mean, they might have seen the video because I tagged everybody and it's how Ashi found me and it's why she sent me stuff because she was thankful that um, I was trying to help get the name out there. I'm trying, I'm trying to aim. In fact, I bought a mascara from Ashi recently and I'm still waiting for it to come in. But I'm actually trying to get, I want to say all of my makeup collection. <laughs> of course, I'm still open to other brands that I love. Like I love, I love Lunar Beauty, you know. Um, but I think I want to try to make the majority of my collection like indigenous brands. Um, Cause right here I have something by Blended Girl. This is a makeup palette. I don't think I'm going to dig into it though. Um, but there's just other brands that I haven't tried yet. There's a ton of um, eyelash brands that are indigenous owned. Every day at seven. See, I'm going in with that same dark shade. I will often tell myself, okay, girl, you're going to wake up early and you're going to do your makeup and you're going to go to work and look cute. In fact, I did that. Um, yesterday I told myself Tuesday night okay tomorrow on Wednesday morning you're going to wake up early and you're going to put on some makeup and go to work looking cute the problem with that is I just love sleep and I have no respect for authority including my own <laughs> so I will not listen to myself maybe I will dig into the resilient because this one doesn't have like a deeper brown and I just want a little um, deeper of a brown shade so I think I'm gonna go into this like chocolatey one in the resilient yeah I can attach the links of course yeah so y'all can check them out I'm just gonna put a little tiny like tap 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 a -roo up top and then a little bit on the bottom But yeah, I ended up not putting on makeup yesterday. That's the moral of the story. Because I suck at being my own boss. If it's not, for me, if it's not lipstick, um, it's eyeliner. A good cat wing. And lately, um, 
I've been doing the inner eyeliner a lot whenever I put it on. Love it. It took me so long to try it because I was just, I was scared <laughs> because I don't have the steadiest of hands and my eyelid skin is not very taut. It's pretty uh, loose and like wrinkly. So like the tiniest little drag ends up with wrinkles. So I was just always afraid of uh, messing up the inner corner and I don't know. I wish I would have tried it sooner. Now I feel like I need to like dump this pigment onto something and then pick it from there. Maybe I have like this little case for uh, removing pigment from your brushes. So I think I'm gonna use the top of it. Just like dip a little bit, dip a little bit on there. I have no idea like how much to use. That might be too much, that might be too little. We'll find out. You're indigenous artist and you read tarot and do yoga. I have recently started reading tarot as well. I started about a month ago. Um, so I'm still learning. I'm still uh, having to like look up the meanings for the majority of the cards before I'm able to come to a conclusion. Some of them I have memorized now, um, but I, I have two good friends that know that I started reading tarot and they had some like situations in their lives that they wanted answers for. So I did a couple readings for both of them and all that shit came out true. <laughs> and there were like some questions that I had, like what's that pentacles about? Comes to find out, you know, it meant something I don't want to put out the specifics because uh, my friends might get pissed if I do that. But yeah, it's wild, man. And I quite enjoy, um, I don't know why I'm trying to pick it up with this fluffy brush. That's a dumb idea. I'll put a little bit on there. I quite enjoy like integrating my traditional culture and spirituality with tarot. Um, and in fact, I am so into tarot right now that I'm not going to say what I'm up to right now, but stay tuned. I'm working on something in regards to tarot. Oh, and yeah, um, if you want to like try a collab, I love, love doing collabs. Just like DM me on Twitter or Insta, whichever. Yeah, I've never had anybody read for me, and that was partially why I decided to start doing it so I could read for myself because, um, believe it or not, I'm, I'm a rather reserved person. Um, I don't like to, to put, like, my deepest shit out there, even if it's just to one person. So I was like, I'm going to read for myself then. By the way, this shade, this pigment is exquisite. I think I need a darker color on the outside to go with it, but my mother just texted me and said, I hope you're almost here because dinner gonna be early. <laughs> I'm almost there, mom. Yes, yes, and you know, maybe I'll even share with you what I'm up to, but uh I even joined like a f an online forum uh, where people just kind of like help each other. Doesn't matter how experienced you are. Um, go out and f there's tons of forums out there. Go and find like a tarot forum and the thing about those, though, is you have to be respectful about, um, I guess, like, you can't just, like, ask for a reading because they consider that solicitation, right? A lot of people do tarot because it's their livelihood, and you can't just be going on these forums asking for the shit for free. <laughs> but I quite enjoy them because they're very helpful. 
I just found out what the quintessential card is last night. And if you haven't heard of the, the quintessential card, uh, look it up. It's nuts. Uh, and it's real. It's accurate. Because I did a reading for myself last night. And basically, in a nutshell, some shit's about to go down for me <laughs> in my life. Um, I drew that tower card. And basically, in a nutshell, some stuff's going to go down. And it's going to be kind of like a turning point in my life. And um, yeah, so... I, I did the the formula to find the quintessential card and why did I draw the wheel of fortune <laughs> you're not even the car I know and I live 20 minutes away <laughs> 25 if I get stuck behind somebody uh slow I'm gonna take this darker uh brown shade and just like deepen up the outside A sew along or sew and share. I have thought about doing um, just lives while I'm beating as well and just like talking. And maybe I will do that in the future, but um, if you didn't make it for like the first, I don't know, two minutes of my live, I said that I have thought about like going live before, but I have three kids and they're all freaking rowdy and they interrupt me. <laughs> So there's just like no way I can do a live with them home. I can't. I've done like live collabs with some friends and uh, I was thankful to have other people there to carry on the content while my kids were interrupted because they did. My kids would come in and do stuff and so I was thankful to have other people there. I was thankful for that mute button. Um, but I hope, like, in the future, I'll be able to do some, like, beading, beading stuff. I don't know about the sewing for myself, honestly, because m I primarily use, like, a sewing machine. And that would be loud, <laughs> super loud on the, on the live. Might not be good on the ears. But a bead with me live. Now that would be fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to put on any eyeliner, um, but something that I like to do is take the brush, like an angled brush. Here's the one I just used on my eyebrows, which I think I missed a spot. Anyway, um, take a little bit of a deep shade and just like... Right on the outside. I don't know if you can see anything on camera. It looks good to me and I'm, um, I'm not too worried about it being perfect because my mom doesn't care. In fact, my mom's like, I don't know how you girls do like 40 steps in your makeup. <sighs> A Google Hangout Live and then it was share. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a Google Hangout Live is. I've thought about doing it here on YouTube and um, Instagram Live. I really like Instagram Live because it's super easy to add other people to it. They can join you and that way I'm not having to do all the talking. Um, but I mean, I also subscribe to, which I need to use that because it's like $25 a month. I subscribe to a service called StreamYard, and it's where you can um, have multiple pe multiple people in your live on YouTube. Because I you can't do that uh, just like in the normal YouTube app. Um, so yeah, I should invite other people to do stuff with me. You Rolling Stones girl on Instagram. I am on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the exact same as my Twitter handle. It's uh, at Chelsea Moon. Er. <laughs> See, my name is Chelsea Moon, and a lot of people think that my my name is Chelsea Mooner. When in reality, um, well, first of all, 
Moon is my married name. Um, it it's it isn't the name that I was born with. Um, so I took my husband's last name, Moon, and his nickname was Mooner, and it's exactly how it sounds. Uh, you know, like when you moon people, you show them your ass. That his friends called him Mooner, and he just he embraced it <laughs> and he like lists all his um different accounts whether it's like on xbox or whatever like his usernames always involve mooner so when i created my twitter i did the same i put chelsea mooner because i'm an idiot and now everybody thinks that uh my last name is mooner it's kind of it's hilarious to me I don't know if y'all are probably like, y you're ridiculous. But I find it so funny when people refer to me as Chelsea Mooner. Because I know that the story behind Mooner genuinely means showing people your ass. I don't know, Mr. Ben, but I quite enjoy my ring. I love it. I actually wanted it for years. I'm using Benefit Roller Lash. I actually wanted a septum ring for the better of the decade, I think. Pretty no longer than that, actually. Ever since I seen Linkin Park's uh, music video for... Which song was it? I think it was Crawling. Crawling in my skin. I'm not going to... Actually, I'm not going to sing that because YouTube will take my video down if I do. Look up Crawling by Linkin Park and watch the music video. There's a... It's basically a girl <laughs> that's like the main character of the video. And she has a septum ring. And ever since I've seen that girl... And this is like young Chelsea. This is like... I don't know. I don't know when the song came out. Maybe like 10. I was like 10. Maybe a little older. And ever since then I was like, that is so cool. But... I never got it because, well, first I had other piercings. Like I had, if you can see that scar, I had my nose pierced. I also had my lip pierced twice. And I didn't want like a full face, I guess. I just, I don't know. I didn't want to have too many piercings on my face. And then after I quit wearing my nose and my lip piercing, I ended up getting jobs where they were like, mm, no piercings allowed on your face. So, fast forward to a year ago, um, I realized I can get a septum and flip it up inside of my nose while I'm at work and nobody will have any clue. And that's what I did for the longest time until my boss seen it and she was like, I don't care. <laughs> so I did all of that <laughs> oh my god Mr. Ben <laughs> I mean yeah it's a freaking piece of metal in your nose of course some boogers are gonna stick to it when you blow your nose that's why you wipe it off <laughs> you got boogers sticking to your nose too um so yeah I have this Merlot shade by Indigenous Cosmetics. I put it on one of my daughters, but I haven't put it on myself yet. So this is genuinely a first impression. Ooh. So it's not like an ultra pigmented gloss, but I really like that. It's really comfortable. And, um... Yeah, put some of this on. I think too much squirted out onto my forehead. I'll be all right though. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me. This was fun as hell. I'll have to do it again sometime. Oh, well, I mean, it, it was funny. <laughs> Cause I get asked, stuff like that all the time and I don't know I guess anything that involves boogers I find funny so yeah 
that shade was really nice. I will, of course, put it in the description. It might take me a minute to do so, though, because I am headed out to go eat some turkey. So um, I'm going to do that, update the description, and miigwech for hanging out with me. This was fun. Um, Lisa, I don't know. I bought these at a, a powwow in Canada, but the cone is from Anishina Babe Mishimo. I can link those in the description as well. Um, they're on Instagram. You can go check them out. Um, I don't know if they have like a website that they sell themselves on, but I know powwowsupply.com sells these cones. Like they work with several retailers. So yeah, some lady in, in Canada, in Sioux, Canada is who made them. So yeah, this was fun and I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving, whichever one you're doing. And Bama Pequamen.